and they were going to be building it at Sandor. I don't uh, honestly know anything about making at Sandals, but today we're going to learn. First thing I'm going to do is uh, determine how long uh, this thing is, and I already, already measured it. I'm going to give me plenty of room on both sides. It's about 37 inches. What I'm going to do is uh, laminate uh, a couple of pieces of oak together to carve it out of. I think you're supposed to make axe handles and stuff out of ash, but oak is all I have, and so that's what I'm going to use. Got the two boards cut. Uh, before I stick them together, I'm going to run them through the planer, and so I'll have a, a super smooth surface to, uh, and super flat surface to uh, stick them together so you won't see the seam. What I'm doing here is putting epoxy resin, uh, West Systems uh, 105 epoxy uh, resin with uh, fast hardener uh, on these boards uh, to stick them together. I'm going to be, uh, you know, regular uh, Tide Bond 3 would have probably worked, but since this thing's going to be out in the weather, I don't want to take any chances. But what do I know? I've never, uh, I've never made a uh, axe handle before. Okay, one of the things that you, you know, you're not going to hear a woodworker say is that I have too many clamps. I've got this all clamped up, and uh, here's a tip for you. When you're gluing something up with epoxy, uh, even pressure is, is more important than a lot of pressure, because if you put too much pressure on it, you'll squeeze all the epoxy out. So even pressure, and uh, but, but not excessive pressure because you'll just squeeze it all out and the joint won't have any epoxy in it. Another hint when you're using epoxy is to remember that the thickness of it, it it's really exothermic. This right now has gotten so hot, the excess I had in here, it's gotten so hot it's melted the plastic and it's already hardened. While over here on the piece, uh, it's still it's still liquid so the thickness of the epoxy makes a big difference well I got the uh, axe head off I, uh, I was careful not to tear up the uh, axe handle because I wanted to use it as a template but the axe, ha uh, axe head looks pretty bad so I'm going to try to clean it up I'm always looking for an excuse to use this. Well, I got the uh, axe head cleaned up. Pretty pitted, as you can see. But I, I'm going to paint it uh, black. It was painted black before. So I'm going to paint it black. And the edge is not pitted, which is good. Okay, the next, uh, next job is the uh, fiberglass has, I mean the epoxy has, has cured on here. And the next uh, job is to um, outline this handle because this handle lives somewhere inside this piece of wood. And I'm going to cut it, I'm going to mark it and cut it out on the bandsaw. to show you here I got it cut out on the bandsaw and what I want you to see here is the uh, you can see the this looks like one giant block of wood but we know that it's two three-quarter inch uh, 
boards together, but you notice you can't uh, you can't see the seam, and that's really what I was looking for. So it's glued together with epoxy, and looks like we've got a good bond. Okay, next thing we're going to be doing is uh, next thing we're going to be doing is is um, carving. What I want to show you here is basically three tools that I use uh, in carving. The first one is this grinding wheel I use on my small, uh, you know, on my small grinder. I'll show you how that works. That thing takes off massive amounts of wood. This is another uh, don't underestimate a high speed drill with one of these little pads on it. You can actually uh, you can actually probably carve this thing uh, without even uh, using the grinder. That takes all the uh, all the tool marks off uh, from the grinder using this 40 grit paper, and then of course uh, then I use the random orbit uh, sander to smooth it all out. Well, it's starting to look like an axe handle. Which is good, since that's what we're trying to build. Let's get to work. Thing it's got to be on there straight. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish carving, and and then after uh, I get done carving, I'll uh, the next thing will be to um, make a wedge and a slot and all that business. <laughs> There she is. Little sanding and finishing, and she'll be uh, done. All the carving's done anyway. So next, uh, next up, I got to uh, split the end down there and dream up some kind of a wedge. making stuff up as I go along right now. What I'm going to do is I mixed up, mixed up some epoxy right here. And well, there she is. I decided to finish the handle with epoxy. Now that uh, oak is pretty porous and the epoxy will, uh, will seal it up. But I'm pretty satisfied with it, and thanks for watching.